Now, now if you said it, it was to be held in Jerusalem, let me go here. Jerusalem. I'm going to go to Isaiah. Isaiah 52. Show you how stupid you are. And that's why we're the only camp that don't give a good goddamn about the two-thirds. Fuck the two-thirds, man. When Michael, Mike Brown got it, we didn't, we didn't have nothing bad. Man, that, that's the nigga that got it because he wasn't right. And then here you got Brother Polite got mad at us for, for, for not being concerned about him. Well, look, when Polite gets it, we're going to praise. We're going to have a party on that day the, when the Mosai gets his ass. Yeah, we're going to drink, we're gonna drink some uh, Louis the Thirteenth. It says here, Isaiah 52 and 1, Awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Talking about Israel, the nation of Israel. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem. Jerusalem is, a, is an actual place. How in the hell can Jerusalem put on a goddamn garment? It's talking about the people before it's talking about a place. The holy city. We are also known as a holy city, right? For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and unclean. It says, shake thyself from the dust, arise and sit down, O Jerusalem. So you mean to tell me that Jerusalem, the city, can shake itself from the dust and stand up and sit down? How in the hell can the city sit down, you fool? O Jerusalem, loose thyself from the bands of thy neck, O captive daughter of Zion. That's how you know it's talking about Israel, okay? Now when you go to Revelation 21, oh, I'm going to praise the Most High when the Most High starts killing you two-thirds. And he, the Most High getting ready to kill the two-thirds. He's going to kill off the two-thirds. Okay, Revelation 21 and 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away. That's Esau's rulership. And there, and there was no, no more sea. And I, John, saw the, the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from the most high out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. So what is it talking about right here? The holy city, New Jerusalem. It's talking about Israelites being beamed up, the destruction taking place, and us coming back down and taking over the whole world, man. That's what that's talking about. So Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. But that people is going to be reunited with the place. I got a precept on uh, the book of Judges 5 and 11. It says, they that are delivered from the noise of the arches in the places of drawing water, which drawing water represents slavery, which is over here in America, all right? Drawing water. There shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. So one of the righteous acts of the Lord is to keep the Passover. Even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel, then shall the people of the Lord go down to the gates. All right, so the point is, it says in the place of drawing water, which represents uh, slavery, um, which is America, which uh, the, uh, a good bulk of the Israelites were brought to in captivity in cargo slave ships, it says there in that place shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. The righteous acts of the Lord one of those righteous acts is keeping the Passover. It's a righteous act. It's cert certainly not a wicked act. All right, so that cuts what the crap that you was uh, that you said on that comment, man. Listen, we getting ready to close. Luke fourteen and sixteen, right? Now this is for all you lukewarm cats out there. It said, then said he unto him, a certain man made a great supper and bade many. We're in the midst of the Great Supper right now. When we go out there and teach this word, it says, And sent his servants at, servant at supper time to say to them that were bidden, Come, for all things are now ready. And they all, with one consent, began to make excuse. The first said unto him, I have brought a piece of ground, and I must needs go and see it. I pray thee, have me excused. So when this word went out you had a lot of guys that 
were given the opportunity to come in this truth and said that I got to do this, I got to do that, you know? I'm going through something with my woman. My kid, my daughter, I got to get her grades back up to A and A+. Plus. So the most, I ain't dealing with niggas like you. That's why a lot of guys, when you go back to One West, and you talk to any of other, other camps about what, how many guys is in One West, there had to be over 2,000 individuals over there that all went back into the world, man. It says, and another said, I have brought five yoke of oxen, and I go to prove them. I pray thee have me excused. And another said, I have married. That's the big one. That's the, that's the one. And, I, and another said, I have married a wife, and th therefore I cannot come. Um, tw 21. So that, so that servant came and showed his Lord these things. Then, then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in hither the bums. Because <laughs> it says poor. A poor, uh, you see somebody dirt poor, po a poverty, you call him a bum, right? Mm -hmm. And the maimed, and the halt, and the blind. And the servant said, yeah, um, Lord, it is done as thou hast commanded, and yet there is room. And the Lord said unto the servant, go out into the highways and hedges, and where his servant, okay, it tells you that in uh, Revelation 7. And compel them. Let me look up the word compel. Anakazo. Which means to to necessitate, compel, drive, to constrain, by force, threats. So you guys going out there threatening, telling people, putting fear in the hearts of people. Well, nigga, you supposed to put hit fear in the hearts of the people. If they don't wake, you tell them. If they don't wake up, they're gonna be destroyed. If they take that chip, they're gonna be destroyed. Okay. Yeah, but my baby got to eat. Well, guess what? She going to eat until the most I destroy her ass. By permission, entreaties, by other, other means. So now let me come back. So you guys that are half-assed, you, you, you playing both sides of the fence, well, this is going to come a time, man. We're going to put up a lot more private videos, man. And when you ask questions, we're going to say, well, what's your standing among the apostles? We don't got to deal with you, man. No, we're dealing, we dealing with the elect, man. We ain't dealing with you niggas. You know, you, you niggas that you, you a black conscious guy one day, then you're an Israelite the next day. Okay? That's right. It says, uh, okay, it says, and compel them to come in that my house may be filled. 24, for I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of my supper. That means you're going to taste the missiles, all right? And there went great multitudes with him, and he turned and said unto them, If any man come to me and hate not his father, or oh, it's getting hard now, the emotions is jumping in there. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brother and sisters, yeah, and his own life also, he cannot be a, my disciple. So what did you say, General Johanna? You said you're going to take the chip, and you told the, the, the dude out there in the West that he's going to take the chip because you want to eat. So you're trying to save your fat ass, man. So what did the mo most I have for you? He has death for you, man, because you might be spared by the by the uh, power of Esau, but you ain't gonna be spared by the power of the Most High. This is Ephesians four and thirteen. Till we all come in the unity of the faith, and of the knowledge of the Son of the Most High, unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Yahweh Shai, that we henceforth be no more children, tossed to and fro 
and carried about with every wind of doctrine by the slate of men and cunning craftiness whereby they lie in wait to deceive. You know, so you got to choose a side, man. You know, you either going to be down for the truth or you're just going to be a floating, a wandering star. You know, and no, remember what the scriptures say that those that are wandering stars, they're, uh, they're reserved until the day of destruction. You know, so, you, you know, you got to, you know, either you get with the program. And, but, you know, like we always say, if you're not elect you're not going to get it anyway you know but i mean you know it's still our job to warn you whether you hear or whether you will forbear you know we did our job we did what we were supposed to do you know so if if, if you don't take heed then the lord's going to deal with you you know you got anything Pastor Gabor? Um, yeah i guess i could read this because this goes back to the passover this guy was saying the passover is supposed to be kept in uh, uh jerusalem now, uh, here's a letter from the Apostle Paul to the Israelites in Corinth. And this is what he said. He said, um, Purge out therefore, 1 Corinthians, the fifth chapter, the seventh verse, beginning at the seventh verse. Purge out therefore the old leaven, that ye may be a new lump, as ye are unleavened. For even Yahweh Shai, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. And a lot of these guys don't even know what the word Passover really means, or how to, or how to uh, correctly explain it. All right? Therefore, let us keep the feast. What feast? The Passover. Not with old leaven, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. And this was written to who? The Israelites in Corinth, Greece. So what, what the hell is that guy talking about? All right? And Passover literally means that. Passover means the destruction that is coming to the ones that are chosen, the elect, the the destruction is going to pass over them, meaning they're not going to get touched by the destruction. A uh, scripture that comes to mind is the book of Psalms, the 91st chapter. 10,000 shall fall at thy, thy right hand, roughly paraphrasing. A thousand shall fall at thy left, but it shall not come nigh thee. What is that? That's the very definition of Passover. And a lot of guys don't, pa they hear the word Passover, they're thinking of, yeah, the lamb dinner and, the, and, the, and the, that, that, that uh, unleavened that, uh, bread and you know, and that well, it's a lamb dinner yeah. them dudes, man. Yeah, exactly. And that's why I put that video up, man, because this is a serious thing, man. Okay? Now, what you should have did, if you're questioning how to keep the Passover, you should have got with, with uh, one of the camps out there, man. So, like I said, we're not playing games with you niggas no more. Okay? Uh, clean up. Hey, being harsh, but you got to be harsh, man, with these niggas. They hard-headed, boy. I see what Mo Moses went through. Ecclesiasticus 4 and 28, 27. It said, make not thyself an underling to a foolish man. <laughs> hey, that's, that goes out to you, uh, uh, to Zariac. <laughs> Neither accept the person of the mighty. 28, strive for the truth unto death, and Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai, shall fight for thee. And with that, we're going to say shalom, and... um. Stay strong.